Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Simply Stitched Crochet. <laughs> my name is Christina and I was going to be here with my fur baby Winnie, but she decided last minute that she needed to cancel her appearance here today. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back. It is Friday and I am here with my Hobby Lobby yarn clearance haul. A long time coming. I'm gonna get right into it. I don't like to beat around the bush. Here is my bag of goodies. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have been going to Hobby Lobby every day since last Saturday, with the exception of Sunday, of course, because they're not open, hoping, waiting for the day that they started marking down the yarn. And they did not mark down the yarn until I guess sometime Tuesday night. Um, because when I went in Wednesday, there was yarn marked down. A very small amount of yarn marked down. Literally, only the hand-dyed hanks were marked down. But that was one of my list of items that I wanted to get, so I'm happy I got my hands on those. And I also got my hands on some of the Notions, so I'm going to be showing some of those as well. Let's get started. <laughs> So the first thing I got was two of these notebooks. Um, I always need a notebook, especially ones like this that have magnets on the back. Um, I write my grocery list on here. I write things I need to remember on here. I write daily to-do list on here. I love these. Um, and this says Busy Bee and it has a, um, a skein of yarn. And these were 87 cents each. Love these. And then I also got a little yarn keychain. Um, I kind of like little um, bits and bobs like this. And I don't have anything like this. Well, hello there, ma'am. I guess she decided to make her appearance after all and she sees something outside that window. <laughs> but yeah, I don't have anything like this. And so I thought it was so cute and it was $1.24. So I'll be putting that on I actually think I might put it on maybe one of my um, project bags. Cause I, I'd be sad if putting it on my keychain it fell off. So actually, yeah, I think I might put it on one of my project bags. And then I also got this little placard that says Yarn Queen. So perfect for me. I love this. This is going to go on my desk, I think. Somewhere I can see it every day. <laughs> Not that I need reminding <laughs> that I am a yarn queen, but you know, it's so cute. I love this so much. And this was also $1.49. So next thing, this bag was also on clearance and it says yarn in things. And they had a lot of these on clearance. This was $1.24. And this is what all my yarn got put into. So when I approached my, what I wanted to get, I can't lie, I went in there, I saw all that hand dyed yarn and I loaded up my cart um, with almost everything they had marked down. Then after I kind of calmed down, I went to another aisle um, in the store that had some empty shelves and I started going through everything I put in my cart and prioritizing the things I really did want um, because I did go in with the budget and so I looked at what did I really want not just seeing you know incredibly low prices I wanted to make sure I got um, things that I actually wanted and that I was going to be getting enough yardage I know the types of projects I'm going to be making with these hint hint shawls <laughs> Um, so I know I need at least 1,200 yards. And so if I wasn't going to get at least 1,200 yards, I left it there for someone else. Um, yeah, so let's keep going. So I did end up putting a lot back as well. After I the excitement came down a bit, I ended up putting a lot back. So these two are were $3.99. Let me make sure they're the same color because, you know, with hand-dyed yards, they can be the same color but look a little different and this is called horizon line and this is the only one i believe that i got two of oh no i have three 
I know one of these, one of these tested pants I already have, so I didn't get um, a lot because I already have some. But yes, this is called Horizon Line. It is 99% superwash merino wool and 1% metallic polyester because it does have glittery, sparkly goodness in there. And this is like teal. I'm gonna call it, there's pink, cranberry, cream. There's even a little bit of orange in these. Um, but I love this teal. Let me show this one. This teal, I love that. So nice. Um, this is 420 yards, 385 meters, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces. And they, these are all super fine one weight yarns that call for 2.75 millimeter knitting needles and 3.25 millimeter crochet hooks. So I have four of these, right? Yes, I have four of these. And then the next color, okay. These are all right here as well. The next color I have here is called Southern Tropics. So I pretty much ended up getting about three or four of every color. So this is the same makeup, 99% super wash merino wool, 1% metallic polyester. And this normally would not be colors that I like, but this teal and blue in there that you can see is just gorgeous. I had to have this. And again, this is the color Southern Tropics and all these Hanks um, were $3.99. So I got four of these. All these are gonna make glorious, glorious shawls. The next color I have here is, oh, I got five Horizon Line. I found another one. Oh, this is why I love hand-dyed Hanks. These are the same color, but look how different these look. Look at how different these look. Wow. Okay, so I have three, for, I have five of that one. And then the next color I got, as soon as I saw it, it reminded me of one of the colorway of one of the Karen Cinnamon Swirl Cakes. I think it's Boardwalk. And this is the color Tiger's Eye. And this was a um, Hank, like this colorway wasn't one I'd seen over the months. Maybe it was hidden behind something, but yeah, this was, I hadn't seen this one before and I love, love, love these colors. These are 100% super wash merino wool. They don't have the sparkles in them, so it's just 100% super wash. Oh, I love this color. So nice. And I have three of these. So let me tell you all as well, let me take a break, my arm's getting a little tired. <laughs> when I went in today, so update on where they are at my Hobby Lobby with their yarn clearance. Not far at all. So Wednesday was the first, we're gonna say Wednesday is the first day of their yarn clearance markdown. That was the first day in store that they had any yarn markdown. And they literally only had Hanks marked down. I went back on Thursday and I kid you not, they had marked down two more yarns, literally. Not like two more rows, two more types of yarn. And I was like, okay, you know, that's fine. <laughs> Went back today and they haven't even made it. So my Hobby Lobby has two full aisles of yarn on both sides. It's two, so one, two, and then the next aisle, one, two. And I kid you not, they hadn't even made it halfway down the the side where the along the side where the hanks are and you know i had like i said i had just about given up on this sale um and there's you know i knew going in this year it was going to be a little different i was going to be more particular there are specific yarns that watching haul videos i'm like i want that specific yarn um and those are not marked down yet now they are along the same side so i'm hoping that by next week, they will get down to the end of that side of the first yarn aisle 
because there's two other types of yarn that if I could get my hands on, I would be like, I, I win, I succeeded at the Hobby Lobby yarn clearance and I will be done. The Hanks was the first thing and I'm so, 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 so glad I got these Hanks. But there are two other types of yarn, the Sugar Wheel um, cakes, the four weight ones. And then if I could get my hands on, right now my Hobby Lobby has two balls of um, the Red Heart, roll with the melange in a color that I love and I don't have many balls of. And so if I could get my hands on those two balls, I think that was my watch. <laughs> if I could get my hands on those two balls, I'm, I'd be so happy. So went today, they again, haven't made it up halfway, but what they are doing at my Hobby Lobby, they are still marking down the craft items on the other side of the store. And I kid you not, there were four or five people over there today, including a manager, all working to mark down those craft aisles. And those aisles were like busy. They had a lot going on. They had, um, you know, they have kind of like those rolling carts. They had those in those aisles. They had um, carts in those aisles. And I was like, okay, so yarn isn't a priority for you all to mark down. And there's probably one person who's responsible for marking down the yarn, which I guess makes sense. It's only two aisles versus the many, many, many aisles of the craft items. And it seems like there must be some type of, you know, push to get those aisles done, which again, it's more aisles. So I don't know, but yarn is not a priority. And after today, maybe tomorrow, if I have time, I probably will not be going back to Hobby Lobby until towards the middle end of next week. Like I wanna give as much time for them to, cause I tell you the two yarns I want are right there. They're almost there. <laughs> so I think, you know, by Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, they'll get there. And I hope by when I get there, there's still some stuff left, so fingers crossed. Let's keep going with this, what we do have though. <laughs> because if this is all I get, honestly, this getting your hands on Hanks during this sale is, you know, because even they don't have a lot of these Hanks to begin with. Some of these colors, you see the same four Hanks there from the time they come out to, to up into the clearance. They don't really restock these, so at least at my store, I, I literally will see the same Hanks. And I know because you'll see one that's, you know, maybe coming apart and it's in the back, right? So, and the ones in the front of it are still there and you don't see any anything moving. So I'm grateful that I even was able to get these beautiful, beautiful Hanks. <laughs> so the next color I have is Mahogany Harvest. And I think I have four of these as well. Same specs, these are also $3.99. Yes, these are all Mahogany Harvest. I have four of these. Yes, that's four. <laughs> Beautiful browns, which I don't normally like, but for some reason, like these more, I don't even know if you could call this one Earth Tone, but for some reason when I saw the blues in both of these, it got me, like, I just, this reminds me of like jewels or, I know, because again, I'm not the biggest fan of brown, but I saw there was one of these in particular, actually, that made me like be like, okay, I actually, maybe I do like that colorway. And it had like a deep, I think it might've been this one. And it has this deep teal right here. And I was just like, okay, now that I love. That little, <laughs> that little section was enough for me to feel like, okay, let's try something different. Let's step outside our comfort zone but I'll take it. Four of these. And then, uh, this is my favorite. Now, in all my days of going to Hobby Lobby, again, there were some yarns that I was like, I really just wanna get my hands on. And I had got to the point where I was like, okay, I'm gonna miss this clearance. I cannot keep coming back to this store every single day. It was to the point where I was, some of the yarns I really, really want, I was like, I think I'm just going to grab a couple. I'm not gonna 
get a lot because it's expensive, but I'm gonna grab a couple. And this colorway, Candy Coated, was one of the ones. I have had my eye on this since I first saw it hit the shelf, way back when. And it must have been Monday or Tuesday, I said, well, I don't know if I'm gonna keep coming back. Maybe I'll just go ahead and grab two and so I can say, so I can have, cause I tell you, this is when I'm like, look, I will, you know, I, I waited. I was like, I'm going to wait as long as I can for this clearance, <laughs> but it was getting, you know, as every day was passing and things weren't getting marked down. It's one of those things aren't getting marked down, but obviously it's getting with every passing day that they're not marking down. It has to be closer to the days they're going to start marking down and knowing my luck, that would be the day I don't go. I almost bought two of these regular price, but I waited and I paid off because I got all four of them that they had. <laughs> and this is my favorite. I tell you, I have been eyeing this since the first day it ever hit the shelves. <laughs> it is so beautiful. I love this and it matches my nails. And again, this is the color candy coated. And of all the colors I got, this was the one I have been eyeing for months and months and months. And I'm so glad I got it. I'm I'm so glad. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I think I already have so many projects that I'm thinking about making. And I'm not anyone who's, you know, I don't get stuck to the plan. This may, to use this yarn, some things are going to get bumped up or we're going to be altering some plans because this is just gorgeous. And I would love to be wearing this come summertime. So four, right, four of those. This next one, this was $349. So this one is, these two hangs are the only two that um, are cheaper price. And this is also in one other colorway that I got two of because this is all they had. And this blue, I was so gorgeous. And it was one of the ones when I did my little step to the side and figure out what I want. I said, again, this is, you know, 420 yards, so this is 840 yards. And I was like, oh, excuse me, I said 840 yards. I was like, okay, for the things I like to make, I do need a bit more, but some things are just so beautiful, you cannot pass up. And this will make a beautiful scarf. Um, and I may give it to like my brother or something because blue and black are his favorite colors. And that would be so nice for him to have. And he lives in the Midwest, so it's cold and he could use a nice superwash merino wool scarf. Um, so I did get two of these, all they had, unfortunately. And then I got two of, oh, I didn't say what color this blue was. This is the color dark denim. And then I got two August rose. Uh, I got two of these because I already have one or two of these. And so I didn't need to get, um, any more of this colorway. And yes, this is called August Rose. And that is my haul. So I have my receipt today, including the notions. I spent $106.50. And I mean, I got 24, oh, I can look on here, 22, 23, 24 Hanks. Um, 87. 78 6.98 we'll just round it up to $97 um on these hanks of yarn that are normally $15 I mean you can't beat it you literally cannot beat the price so that is all I have for you all today leave down below if you're going to be participating in this year's Hobby Lobby yarn clearance. And also comment below, do you think this will be their last like big clearance like this if they're kind of downsizing the yarn section? I don't know. And to be honest, I don't know, like this, I feel like this, a lot of the yarns, the other yarns at Hobby Lobby, you can find them other places. They may not be the colorways, um, they may not be as nice, but that's always relative. You know, people say, oh, I think this is the softest or that's the softest. That's relative. 
But for me, getting these Hanks, I mean, I couldn't be happier. But yeah, leave down below. What do you think about the Hobby Lobby clearance sale this year? How it's very much so early. What do you think about what people have been saying about them trying to figure out when their Hobby Lobby is starting, their yarn clearance, and they're not able to get all the information? Um, and are you know, are you participating? Well, that's all I have for you all today. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.